Hello everyone and welcome to this little lesson on how to glaze using acrylic paint. So in this little lesson, um, I have an old bottle of liquid glazing medium I'm going to put out on my palette here. Just put a little blob of that out. And this is one of those stay wet palettes so the, the paper is sort of... Um, it, it's a weird paper that lets water from underneath come through and I ran out of a little yellow sponge so I'm just using some wet paper towel underneath and it's really great because even in Arizona I you know this paint will stay wet for weeks and so I really like the stay wet palette for using um, acrylic paint so I've got out my um, painting from the other day and it's fully dry so this is nice and dry and I'm going to show you just how um, you can do some glazing. So I'm going to just use this for mixing and um, what you can do is uh, I ha get a paper towel ready. So um, there's a couple things you can do. So you can put a little bit of a layer of water on your paint on your painting that's dry like that. That way if you don't like the glaze, you can wipe it off really easy. Uh, another technique would be to fully paint your painting with the clear gloss medium and then let that layer fully dry because you want it to be fully dry. Then that surface is nice and slick um, and you can practice your glazing on top. So that's uh, a, a really safe way to do it. So if you if you paint your painting let it dry then do a, a layer of your gloss medium let it fully dry like give it a whole day then you know you're not going to have any of the you know the clear gloss medium uh, still tacky or wet it has to be perfectly dry because you don't want to glaze and mess up your your painting so I'm just put a little bit of, of water then I'm going to take the glazing um, medium and this is just a one of those peel off palettes and I'm going to take that uh, liquid glazing and I'm going to put a little touch of blue in it just to show you like what I would use maybe in the shadow so I'm going to add a lot of that liquid so you can see how transparent it is on the white that's what you want so you get that and then you want to go so I, I added that blue in the paint but let's say the whole thing was just white. I could come along with that blue glaze and just glaze over all that shadow color. Just to exaggerate it, I'm going to add a little more blue so you can see how pretty that looks. So there's bits of that blue glaze. See how I can make it go really blue so I could have this whole thing in that blue shadow. Even do some of those leaves. So if you, if you want to dab some of that off, just wet your paper towel in water and I can go right over it and like lift off almost all of it, see? So if I go, oh, I don't like that, I don't want to do the glazing, I can go and do that. Say I want to look make it look more sunny, so make sure always you're working with clean water and a clean brush. So I'm going to go get some of that liquid glazing and let's say I add some yellow ochre to that mix. So it creates a yellow transparent glaze. Now I go over those. Uh, so keep it transparent, add your liquid gloss medium and add yellow to it. So now you can see the tips of the flower have a really happy kind of yellow color to them so I can take that off so you can take it off and look at it again and say okay I didn't want it to be that yellow so you can kind of play around with your glazes another thing you can do is you could do multi uh, glazing so you can pick different colors so make sure your brush is clean and you could take some alizarin so get some of your liquid medium here and some alizarin and you could put little bits of that 
uh, lizarin, which will give it sort of little hits of pink here and there. And then clean off your brush and go get your blue. Add some blue. And go get your yellow and add some yellow. So now you've got all these kind of different levels and then dab dab around and look you've got all those little hints of color now in there you got the blue little bits of pink and little bits of yellow so i love this about acrylic paint that you can get working so quickly um with doing things like this the next day so you don't have to wait a week for your oil painting to dry you can just go in and start that glazing process just right away. So another thing you can do is get more specific with your glazing. You can go and get your brush and get, get that gloss medium. And you can work in glazing shadows. Just go in and glaze those shadows the where you want them. So you don't have to get it right with the paint in the you know in the very beginning you can go in you can add those blue shadows later and then once you start to really have fun with it you could go take some of that you know red oxide and glaze in some some of that red oxide to warm up the shadows a bit say they were too blue you know you can go in and add some of that so you can really have fun with it. Sometimes I'll even play around with colors like teal or turquoise. I have some viridian out here. So let's see if I added viridian. You can get some really fun little hints of color there that you just normally wouldn't um, pick up. You could do a viridian glaze on some of the leaves to kind of cool them off a little or you could do a little bit of a Indian yellow glaze on your leaves to warm them up so you can change that kind of blue shadow uh, here that I added the glaze you can you know add some of that yellow and look at how that leaf just changed color to like a sunny sunny looking leaf so you can really have fun with it. I'm adding some of that yellow glaze back onto the white here. It just gives it that sunny look. So I'll do more videos on glazing, but for now, um, that's about it. And uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoy watching these videos. And I'll be posting more soon. Thanks for watching.